get you some. What you got is what we need, and all we do is dirty. Garriott's tabletop Dungeons and Dragons game must have been just about the most glorious thing in human history. This game takes D&D, Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, among many other things, throws them in a blender and just hits the puree switch, and my god is it beautiful. This guy is a god of nerds. So anyway, once you kill 20 TIE Fighters, you become a Space Ace. Now you have to rescue a princess, but that's a lot easier since every castle has one locked in its dungeon. Apparently all the kings of Cesaria are kidnapping assholes. Only problem is you need a key, but that's not really a big problem because every fucking step you take, Chuckles the fucking jester shouts, I have the key! So you have to stab Chuckles in cold blood, which I'll admit is immensely satisfying, take the key and hack your way out of there with the princess in tow. She tells you there's a time machine parked around back of the castle, so you get in, you go back to the past, beat the shit out of Mondane, and smash his magic gem. This guy is a complete pussy, too. After a few rounds, he just turns into a bat and starts running away from you. I guess I understand. Would you be ready for battle if some guy just busted into your lab in his fucking TARDIS, kicked the door open, and came out shooting with a blaster rifle? I'd be toast, man. Not even sure I'd have pants on. Sadly, there's no option to take the gem and assume Mondane's dark throne, but hey, you've got a time machine and all the hot princess poontang you could ever want. Still, it seems like we're forgetting something. Mm, always two there are. No more, no less. A master and an apprentice. But which was destroyed? The master or the apprentice? 